Both asthma and COPD are airway obstructive diseases caused by chronic inflammation. However, airway obstruction in asthma is mostly episodic and reversible, while in COPD, it is persistent and progressive. More importantly, the inflammatory pattern is markedly different in the two conditions. Inflammation is driven mainly by macrophages and neutrophils in COPD, whereas in asthmatic airways, activated mast cells and eosinophils are more prominent. In fact, asthma is a type 1 hypersensitivity disease in which IgE-sensitized mast cells, upon re-exposure to certain triggers, release a number of inflammatory chemicals that are responsible for bronchospasms during an asthmatic attack. Notably among these are leukotrienes, which not only cause bronchoconstriction, but also attract eosinophils to the lungs, amplifying the impact of inflammation. Despite the differences, many of the drugs used to treat asthma and COPD overlap. These include inhaled bronchodilators to widen the airways, and inhaled corticosteroids to control inflammation. Bronchodilators can be short-acting or long-acting. Short-acting medications are used as emergency treatment for acute bronchospasm attacks, while long-acting agents are used to control the disease in the long term. Inhaled corticosteroids are first-line therapy for long-term management of asthma, while long-acting bronchodilators are first-line treatment for moderate COPD. Patients with severe COPD are typically prescribed both bronchodilators and corticosteroids. Inhaled bronchodilators act to modulate the effect of autonomic regulation in the lungs. They either stimulate the sympathetic arm, the fight-or-flight state, which increases respiratory volume, or suppresses the parasympathetic response, which has the opposing effect. Accordingly, there are two classes of inhaled bronchodilators. Beta-2 agonists activate beta-2 adrenergic receptors of the sympathetic pathway. Sympathetic activation leads to production of CAMP, which in turn causes relaxation of airway smooth muscles in several ways. These drugs are highly selective for beta-2 adrenergic receptors, which are present predominantly in the lungs. Beta-2 agonists can be short-acting, SABA, long-acting, LABA, or ultra-long-acting, ULABA. Muscarinic antagonists bind to and prevent activation of muscarinic receptors that mediate the parasympathetic response in airway smooth muscles and mucous glands. Some drugs are non-selective. They bind to all subtypes of muscarinic receptor, while others are more selective for the M3 subtype expressed in smooth muscles. Most muscarinic antagonists are long-acting. Lama. For moderate to severe COPD, combinations of a long-acting muscarinic antagonist and a long-acting beta agonist are typically preferred over a higher dose of either drug alone. This is because these two classes of drugs appear to amplify the effect of each other. Another class of medications that is usually used as a second-line treatment are inhibitors of the enzyme phosphodiesterase 4. PDE4, which degrades CAMP. Inhibition of PDE4 leads to increased levels of CAMP, producing smooth muscle relaxation as well as anti inflammatory effect. Finally, there are some drugs that are more specific for asthma. These include mast cell stabilizers and anti IgE antibody, which reduce mast cell induced inflammation and leukotriene modifiers, which exhibit both bronchodilator and anti-inflammatory effects. Are you a fan of Alila Medical videos? If so, you will love our new Alila Academy. Based entirely on our highly effective animated mini-lectures, our courses are designed to follow a typical syllabus in each subject. Each topic is extensively illustrated and comes with quizzes to test your understanding, downloadable PDFs for a quick review, as well as images for you to use in school projects or presentations. We are known for producing highly effective animated videos that explain the most difficult concepts in record time. We have no doubt that our courses will be a lifesaver for both students and teachers alike. So do come check them out. Alila Academy. Clear. Concise. Effective.
with extensive visual resource. No one explains like Alila does.